Hi, my name is Richard Liverance. I am the Western Regional Marketing Director for the Israel Government Tourist Office in Los Angeles. Here at the Travel and Adventure Show in Los Angeles, what kind of a reaction have you had from the booth? We've actually had a really positive reaction. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, was we were so full. We had a lot of travel agents come by to meet us, lots of uh, consumers who are interested in Israel, and today as well. Very busy at the booth, very positive reaction. A lot of people come by, they just want to talk about their experience in Israel. I, I don't know how many people uh, came by and said, this was the best experience of my life, or the best trip I have ever taken. Uh, we have others who say, I'm going next week, I'm going next month, I can't wait to go. I mean, there's a lot of excitement for Israel, which we see in the numbers, really, because the, the numbers of travelers to Israel this past year in 2018 uh, exceeded 4 million from all over the world, about 1.2 from North America. Uh, traveled to Israel and so we're seeing the numbers keep going up and up and up for tourism for Israel so people are excited about it want to be there. Well, I work for the state of Israel, the Jewish state, but I am uh, an American and I'm not even a Jew, I'm a Christian. I was a pastor for 25 years. I had the uh, honor to take my church to Israel and to take them on trips which gave me the background in tourism and then uh, just studying Israel, uh, both ancient and modern Israel, has been a, uh, an interest of mine for many years. It's, uh, it's an honor for me, really, to work for the state of Israel and to promote tourism in the United States. Yeah, I think a lot of people are surprised. Actually, Christian tourism to Israel comprises a little over 60% of all tourism to Israel. Uh, Jewish tourism is around 22, maybe 25% at the high end. Uh, and a lot of people are surprised at that, but uh, people want to go. It's, a lot of it is Roman Catholic tourism and then beyond that evangelical Protestant tourism to Israel of that 60%. Uh, but people are coming from all over the world and the majority of people obviously come, they want to walk uh, understand the story of Abraham. They want to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, and so uh, Israel's the place to do that. And so it is really um, um, a lot of tourists are coming from various Christian denominations, uh, and it's it's quite diverse. Uh, if people wanted to look more into it, could they? Where would they look online? You can go to our website. It gives us uh, gives you a lot of information about connecting with tour operators, uh, about looking at itineraries. The website is uh, www.goisrael.com. Uh, we also, for Christian tourists, have Land of the Bible, separated by hyphens.com, uh, and uh, Holy Land Pilgrimage for Roman Catholic tourists. So we have several different websites. Our main website, though, is the goisrael.com. If people don't have a church group to go with, or a temple group to go with, is there a way to, uh, to book an individual flight and then uh, in, in find a, a tour guide as a... a to hook up with a tour group there somehow? Yes, I mean, there's several ways to do it. Uh, there are lots of companies here in the States or directly working with tour operators in Israel. They have all kinds of tours, usually going out every week of the year. You can jump on one of theirs, depending on whether you're Jewish or Christian or Orthodox or Roman Catholic or whatever. If you want to go on a wine and culinary tour, if you want to go on an adventure tour, if you want to do just, you know, whatever else, a cultural tour, uh, all of that's uh, is available. Plus, you can also just go to Israel. There are lots of uh, guides who they'll, you can hire for a day or two. Uh, they'll take you to a certain site, uh, give you the uh, background of what's going on in that site. It's important to have a guide, I think, at least the first time you're in Israel. There's so many layers of history in Israel that it helps to have somebody trained to help you step through that history. So having a guide, whether it's just for a one or two day trip uh, while you're in Israel or going on a full uh, 10 day tour with a guide is, is really, I think, uh, the best plan.